Hi guys, it's Tony from ptjobftincome.com. I'm going to show you how I use my tool here, my little tool for keyword research. Um, there's a free version, paid version, upgrade version. You can do this exact same search with a free version and find out exactly what I'm searching. So have a go below because there's a box for you to have a go. So firstly, I don't know why, but I was talking to someone about pressure cookers the other day and um, it, was, it stuck in my head. So I searched for pressure cookers on this actual keyword tool um, a few hours ago. And that's the keyword I'm going to use as a seed to show you how I generate keywords to write posts and pages around. I'll just walk you through what I did. Pressure cookers with double S was my keyword. And I just then click find keyword. As you can see, it's quite quick to find um, keywords, but I'll walk you through what's happening on the screen anyway. So, uh, we have our keywords on the left-hand side, and these figures relate to these keywords. If we look at pressure cooker, the top one, average searches per month, that number is searches per month for that keyword. So, people are searching pressure cooker in their search box quite a lot, almost 49,000 times. Now, if I was to be on the first page of Google, I can expect at least 8,309 visitors from ranking for that keyword. QSR, quoted search results. As you can see further up in the post, I talk about putting C keyword in a As you can see further up in the post, I talk about putting keywords in quotes. There you go. That is what this represents. This is the exact term, as in the keywords in quotes when searching in Google. 229 exact quoted results for pressure cooker. Red, amber, green. Traffic light. Red is hard. Amber is mm, quite difficult. Green is pretty easy. SEO score, the higher the number, the easier it is to rank. So if this number is 41, it's going to be pretty difficult to rank. And for the keyword pressure cooker. And there are no domains with pressure cooker. I, I could not buy pressurecooker.com, pressurecooker.net, or pressurecooker.org. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. I'm going to skip along to what happened next. I thought, ooh, there seems to be quite a lot of searches here for pressure cookers. And over here are related search terms. Again, you'll see it's that same thing in the free version. So I looked at related search terms, and this caught my eye. Steel pressure cookers, or steel pressure cooker. So I clicked on steel pressure cooker, and what happened was, I saw quite a few um, steel-related search terms for pressure cooker. They were all green, and the SEO number was um, quite... Uh, What's the word? Encouraging. QSR, not much competition really. And traffic, pretty decent if I collect a few keywords. So let's show you what I would do normally. Um, as I said earlier on, anything with over 100 searches, I'd probably look at writing a post or page or working that keyword into a post or page somehow. I'm going to tick what I like the look of. Now, I like the look of that and that. Too low searches, too low searches. This, um, I'm going to tick it purely because I'm going to look at fresh cooker reviews, because I remember that was a, a keyword somewhere. So that could be one of the reviews I write. I'm going to tick all of them that have decent numbers and whittle them down later. So that's pretty decent. Um, standard, standard still pressure cookers. Maybe a category, maybe a tag, I'm not really sure, but um, I'm going to tick it just for now anyway. Again, review, review, review. Um, I'm not really interested in canners. Not really going to differentiate by where they are made. Even though it's quite interesting, there's that many people searching for it. Um, reviews, probably categories for me, or page where I set up the reviews. What else have we got? Um, best stainless steel pressure cooker. I'm just going to tick that just because, and this one. Then I'm going to save to a list. You 
can't see that, can you? There you go. If I click Save to List, it says Existing List or New List. I haven't got any lists at present, so I'm going to write a new list and I'm going to call it Pressure Cookers. Or Pressure Cooker, I keep saying say S and I. So I'm saving that, I'm going to close that. And um, with this here, now I'm going to have another look at Organizer. I'm going to organize, organize it by Average Searcher. So I'm going to click this and get how many searches. So stainless steel canner is quite heavy and that's cool. That's pretty decent. Now there's an electric keyword coming up here a few times. So I'm just gonna, I'm really interested in cooking in steel. Well, I'm gonna leave it at that because uh, otherwise to be honest with you, I'd dig forever. But I've dug a little bit and what it shows me, if I look to my keyword list now, which is saved lists. I've got 12 keywords and uh, the traffic to be expected. You can look at the keywords here and see what's going on there. So I'm gonna go back to my keywords for pressure cookers and I'm gonna um, add another one, electric pressure cooker, electric, yeah. you know what I mean. I just wanna have a quick look to what that brings up. And as you can see, this tool helps me quite a lot in um, uh, sifting through all the data that really is quite useful that I really need to find, but I, it would take forever to find it manually. Now again, I'm seeing quite a lot of green, so I'm liking that. So I'm gonna search by, in fact, let me just tick off what I like first. 79 by, I don't mind the challenge. Anyhow. Recipes. Now there's something interesting. Reviews again coming up strong. Free recipes, even better because I can produce those, can't I? Um, seeing as they've got over 100 miles, we'll do that as well. Save to list and existing list this time. Pressure cooker, yeah, save it to that list. Close. Now, if I now view my save list, 30 keywords with almost 4,000 visitors per month if I can write and rank. Now we've got a couple of dodgy ones in there. This one here and this one here. Hmm. Electric pressure cooker. I say dodgy because of the amber. But I'd, I'd still write probably posts, no, probably pages on those. Anyway, rather than keep rambling on, I'll leave it at that because that's how I'm using the tool to help me find um, keywords. Uh, you can search for anything you want. Obviously, I could search for Audi cars for Steve, but I'm not going to do that because it, again, take forever. And you know me, I think now, I'll just keep digging and showing you more and more and more. So rather than me talking, let you start doing and let me know how you did. Speak to you soon. Tony from PTJobFTIncome.com. Bye for now.